Hello everyone. This video is a quick step-by-step -step guide for useful mockups that you do mostly. So how can we do a, a different sets of mockups? I'm going to describe this in a proper step-by-step uh, -step frame so that you can able to follow me up. Let's start with the video. Step one, create a horizontally scrollable frame. As I told you, uh, I'm going to show you the horizontal scroll now, how we can do that in a prototyping way. So I have uh, these three frames here with the um, with each groups inside. So let's say uh, in this onboarding or splash screen, I have uh, three groups inside a frame. So the my frame is around like only within the screen. So it is uh, it may be around the pixels of yeah. This is the width and height of the frame but inside i have three groups so the difference between the frame is we can uh, group is like it will have the elements tied to that like you cannot extend the group like uh, you cannot give the free space around the group but what you can do is uh, in the frame you can have any how much space you want like around the element so that is the difference between a frame and the group and with the group you can't do prototypes with the frames only you can be able to do the prototypes so you have to form a frame to give the prototype like uh, to link anything so let's say um, i have these three groups inside now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give this frame a horizontal scroll so if there if, if it was no scrolling you have to give it as a horizontal scrolling and then um, you can see now the groups will get properly scrolled right that is one and uh, for this you need to have the elements which is inside the frame so you should not have the outside frame like whatever the groups you want to scroll inside the frame it need to be inside the frame okay just make sure of it and the next step is how we can link the next one so i'm gonna link it this way Okay, navigate to it can be instant so once i click on start automatically uh, my interaction will be like instantly happen for this particular screen i'm gonna do the horizontal scroll for this okay so let me see same way i have um, the frame inside and also i have different sets of group as well on the outside like outside of the frame so you can see that like you can have it like that make it a group which is inside the frames like make it a different set of groups so that it will be easy for you to identify okay so if you play this so let's say i'll just form the frame as horizontal scrolling and then if I scroll it automatically the rest of the elements will get scrolled so number two will be uh, vertical scrolling how can we do that so vertical scrolling in the sense I want all these elements to scroll up uh, but I, I don't want this element to go up like I want this group to stick there okay and then rest of the elements to go up downs like uh, we have seen in the lot of uh, music applications or something the top screen will uh, stick together and the rest of the uh, top bar will stick together and then rest of the elements will scroll down before that uh, i want to show the difference between these two screens so you can see um, i have the bigger elements here in this particular frame 13 and in the frame 11 i have uh, the elements bit smaller when comparing to this so when i scroll up when i scroll up this elements will also go but stick at some point it will stick to the screen at some point and then rest of the elements will go so you can see the navigation if i do now for the scrolling part from the down to up like how can we do that scroll it up and then stick this thing there so for that we need some uh, kind of prototype should happen in between so interaction that will help uh, this to uh, get smaller and then stick to the screen so let me do that now so that's how uh, you will navigate from frame 13 to frame 11 then only our expected uh, scrolling will happen let's say i'm clicking on this frame 13 to frame 11 okay i'm giving that as on drag can be navigate to and it can be smart animate no no uh let's give move in or 
okay smart animate matching layers is out can be 300 milliseconds okay now let's try what it happens okay yeah it's happening so you have to link again to this screen to happen the same and drag come down smart animate is out okay shall we try it once again now it's our scrolling part is happening now what i have to do is i have to drag it up then i have to drag it down yeah it is happening smoothly see uh, automatically the thing is getting down and then up you can see here so for that you need to work on this part because that is larger and then that is because you want this particular thing to happen like from big to small and then stick together on the screen so for that you need to work on it and the next one what we are going to do is we are going to give the vertical scroll to it before getting to the vertical scroll you have to give the length of element so if you see here i have given a lot of elements uh, inside it so if it is if you are not giving it the your scrolling page will not have anything so better you'll get the you'll give the scroll for every so better you have to give all the elements inside it whatever you want it can be a chat box or like i have given few of the elements that can, that is relatable to this application so that you can also do that you have to give the list of elements uh, inside so that only it will be able to scroll it like when scrolling you will have some information or else it won't get scrolled in the white screen white blank screen right so yeah uh, you, but my frame size even though i have the list of elements my frame size is going to be this my frame size is 360 out of 739 so width is 360 and h is uh, height is 3739 so this is my frame so now what i'm going to do is um, you have to select the frame it's easy it's very easy you have to give the select the frame and then give us vertical scrolling so either if it will be in no scrolling like in the previous like uh, you have to change it to vertical scrolling now and then what you can do is you can scroll it like this okay so now let's see the navigation of whole part here from the first screen one okay so we have our horizontal scroll here in this and once i click on the start it will help me to do the scrolling here as well the same horizontal scroll and i wanted to drag it up so i am just dragging in out the screen and then started doing the vertical scrolling so these are the basic things that you need to learn about prototyping so if this is done half of our work is done like if you can able to do this uh, simple prototyping half of our work is done then we can concentrate on the micro interactions found interesting prototyping in figma is really fun try prototyping your designs so that uh, it will be more easier for you to make the designs more interactive and intuitive uh, i have mentioned one lotty files which is actually used for which is actually very useful in this prototyping i have already mentioned few of the plugins that are really useful uh, during the journey in figma uh, so you can check that uh, check the video i have mentioned lotty files there you can download from the community and then start using it that's all for today thank you so much for watching if you want to know more about prototyping you can put that in the comments i'll make more videos about how you can develop your prototypes and enhance your prototyping skills so yeah thank you so much bye bye